Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I am playing... Well, it's not really pronounceable for Western terms. I say Fugle. A friend in the UK says Fuel. And I don't actually know what it's pronounced as in reality, in its native tongue. But this is a game where you play as a bird. I played this a long time ago at the flat version on PC on the channel because I knew it was coming to VR on the Oculus Rift. And now this week it is finally here. Uh, this is actually coming out tomorrow on Oculus Home for the Rift platform. And as you can see, you start out, well in this case I'm an eagle and I'm soaring over a tropical land. Now the graphics are not the most refined on Earth. Kind of looks a little bit like Minecraft a bit. Right now I'm just kind of gliding over the water. What you'll notice when I fly into another type of bird or creature is this starts to happen. There we go. And you notice we kind of morphed into a flamingo now. And now we've changed again into a bit of a parrot. And as we explore these lands, now we're going to go over here to these nice seagulls. See, changed into a seagull. We crashed just a little bit here. Look how cool it is! Like we're just chilling there, and now we're a butterfly. And the butterflies move so much faster. You know, it'd be even cooler we turned into a monkey. We took off as a flying monkey. How about that? So this game is full of biomes. This is the tropical biome. We're just going to explore this one for a while. One of the things I love about this game is how relaxed I am when I play it. There's no real objectives, but you know, some of the objectives could be collecting which animals you turn into, or traveling across the biome a certain distance, or things of that nature. Come down over here. Actually, I'm going to try to fly through these. There we go. The sound effects are fantastic. It's very immersive. Being able to look around at these worlds. Or biomes. Of course. Look, we've got some more monkeys over here. And now we're a monkey again. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. It's almost like a switch of some kind. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's just the top of a tree. What we're gonna do now... I respawned instead of... switching views here. What we're gonna do now is we're going to switch from tropical to canyon as the next biome. And this one, 
again, incredibly immersive. We can go deep into the canyon here. And this, not gonna lie, reminded me a lot of the Star Wars game Rebel Assault. Where you weave back and forth through canyons. notice that the sound effects, the graphics, everything about this is different than that tropical biome that we were just in. favorites up here. We're now a flying goat. One of these worlds was crafted by the developers and provides nice, relaxing gameplay. Uh, it is available on PC and on iOS as well in a, in a slightly flatter, less immersive version. But I have been loving testing out and now playing the final release in VR. Um, this, this game is just magical in VR. The only other game that provides this kind of relaxation for me, I would say, would be Jupiter and Mars on the, on the PlayStation VR. Um, and I feel like this does it a lot better. Um, Just a slight crash. It's okay. Little bluebird. Well, I think we should probably respawn. Oh, we made it. We got out. But if you've followed my channel for a long time, you'll know that one of my favorite games in VR was Eagle Flight. Um, and just the, the joy of being able to fly, even though you know, it's not first person, it's essentially just flying behind these characters. I just, I really love it. We'll try a couple more quick biome changes here. This is the frost biome now. And if we want to change our avatar, we can do that as well. We're a flying wolf now. And now, look at that. We are a snowflake. Check that out. So I'm just going to let the snowflake fly in the wind for a bit. And it drift. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and just the effects, even even the wind now. It's a reindeer like oh. The wind is new. Something I hadn't seen in the game before. Just a, just a snowflake floating in the wind over the 
this frost covered mountain. And that's the thing, you can play this game for hours and find new things each time you play. And that's one of the awesome things about it. Right, we're gonna go down here next to this rabbit. And now we're a flying rabbit bird. deer here. And actually, that, that moves a lot faster. It's almost like it turned into a bat. bit of a crash there, but let's go check out. Let's do one more biome. The jungle is cool, but Moloko is the one that I really, really like. And you'll see in just a moment. And actually, you know what? I feel like I want to change the avatar too. So as you can see, there's tons of different avatars. Many, 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 many avatars. Some of which are not unlocked yet, which is cool. Be a centipede. A flying centipede. But the bird I really like for this one is Arcus. Kind of a rainbow bird in the rainbow land of Malone here. Which is gorgeous. So, let's fly amongst these guys. Almost like a almost like I, I I'm coming from outer space of some kind or visiting an alien land.
But yeah, definitely recommend this one. I'm just going to go ahead and exit back out to the menu here so you can see after Moloko, we've got the mountain. The oasis. And of course, there's water at the oasis. The polar region. Pond. This one's really cool as well. Spooky. Which kind of makes me feel like I'm underwater in the deep sea, to be honest. And then back to tropical. So you do have different options. Uh, if you want to change the gameplay, you can actually change the distance to the bird to none. And I'll show you what that looks like. took my controls Oops. back gameplay it's that way all the way to that no it's still about the same so I'm not sure what that changes anymore uh, give me one more second I'll try just split the difference and go in the middle where there used to be something with that distance to the bird. Yeah, it doesn't seem to change anything anymore, but it used to actually bring your face very close to the bird where you're almost inside the bird and flapping the wings and such. I think that's going to about do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this look at this game that I cannot pronounce that I still think is Fugle or Fuel or something like that. A game where you fly as a constantly morphing bird through these beautiful biomes. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. I'll be back with more VR content very soon. Thanks for watching.